everyone. Happy September. I've had quite a busy week, so I'm sorry that I missed my Monday upload again. I went to my very first job interview and it was for a position at a psychiatric hospital near Boston. I was really, really nervous because it was a facility that I wanted to work at and because it was my very first interview in the United States but I think it went really, really well. And because I'm an international student, I will require a sponsorship to work legally in the US within the next year, so I've just been trying to figure all that out. If everything goes according to plan, I might be able to start working in October, which is really exciting. So today I have a few things on my to-do list that I have to do. Um, I finished the first two things in the morning and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my art process as I design some packaging stickers and I'm going to be working on a commission for a friend and this evening we're going to drive over to Michael's and take a look at some packaging stationery. So let's get started.
understand why the mad paper always does this to me. Look how much darker this is. Like, it's still cute, but I wanted this soft pink color. And it's not even translating on the camera, so I'm gonna try printing it on glossy paper to see what it looks like. I've been drawing a lot more than usual this week and I think it's because my mental health isn't doing so well. I was thinking about how art is such a therapeutic process for me and I was just curious as to why. Like why do I just sit down and draw for hours when I feel stressed? Is it escapism? Is it just a way to distract myself? Or is there something about it that helps me feel better? So. I'm just turning on the camera and talking to myself, but I think on days when I'm not feeling so well, I tend to struggle with remembering who I am and where I belong and what my purpose is for being here. I forget that I'm a person with likes and dislikes, hopes, dreams, and a passion to do things. And to lose touch of that side of myself honestly feels very alienating and lonely so by engaging in creative activities like art or filming and editing videos for youtube i think there is that self-expression aspect of it that kind of helps me put myself back together again i think when i make art and when i create things i am reminding myself of my likes and dislikes I'm reminding myself of the things that make me happy and the things that make me joy. And this is why I think the arts are so important for helping someone who is struggling with mental health problems. I think there is a sense of psychological soothing that comes with expressing who you are and being able to freely do the things that you want to do. And I think it really helps me with my feelings of hopelessness and despair. And I think I just wanted to ramble on and share my thoughts with you today just in case someone out there feels the same way as me. And, you know, if you just pick up a pencil and take some time to draw out some of your favorite things, maybe it might help you feel better as well. So, yeah.
these colors. Fall is my favorite season. This is so pretty. I don't even need it, but I want it. <laughs> Let's go there. This is pretty. Pinks and reds. The pink one is so pretty. No. <laughs> ah, goodbye. Oh, like this? Yeah. I feel like this one's lighter. Yeah, I think this one's lighter too. Oh, all the lights are here. Oh, that one.